Well, hello everyone. Your last update video for the class, uh, module seven of summer of 24. We're coming to the end, the last few days of the course. I just wanna to touch base with you before we end to make sure everything goes smooth for you in our final days of, of the class. So the first thing let's talk about was uh, last week in module six. Um, we'll scroll down to module six real quick, uh, but uh, all the grading done there Fantastic job uh, with the uh, course summary outlines. I think everybody, I think everybody met full criteria on that. So that's great. Simple project, but believe it or not, there's always been a percentage of people who have historically not gotten that correct. So great job there. And hopefully that summary outline helps you with this week in presenting your VoiceThread uh, course summaries. Uh, great job also on the um, thread of discussion we had last week. A few of you got some points off. Uh, that's typically when you do not have the two student responses in there. So if you notice like, hey, why didn't I, I made my post. Well, if you don't do the two follow-up posts to your colleagues, there are points off, uh, off there. So, but that's all in the feedback. So check that out. That'll be in there for you. But great, great job overall with that discussion. This week kind of looks busy, but make sure you kind of you know go through here and get everything knocked out. Don't let anything slip through the cracks so you can get every point possible. I know everybody wants to get an A, so you know grab all those points that you can. So make sure you do all of your quizzes. You know that's pretty easy. Get the quizzes done. We've got our voice thread presentation, which obviously is the huge chunk of points 150 points you don't want to you do not want to zero there that will bring you down one to two letter grades and then we have our progress journal that should be easy it just really provides me some feedback um, uh, you know as as uh, for this course and there's nothing for you really to prepare for that other than just writing and talking to me so um, we have that last uh, that last progress journal and that's pretty much it to to conclude the course. The um, uh, you know a couple like closing thoughts. Again, you guys have been a fantastic group. Um, you know you've done great jobs with obviously all the threaded discussions. Great jobs there. You've you've that quiz mastery. You've learned how to do that. Um, and the voice thread presentations that I have graded so far, because a good chunk of you have them in. I don't have them all graded, but a lot of you are submitting early, which is great. Um, some of the best I've ever seen. So fantastic job with those voice thread uh, course summaries. Great job. And I know that summer can be kind of difficult for taking classes. There's a lot of distra distractions, but you guys have been an amazing group. So kudos, kudos to you uh, for you know, grinding through uh, on this course. And I do hope that you found some of the material valuable here. It's meant to be really a practical guide to being a manager. And that textbook is maybe that's one you want to keep. I think it's a great uh, textbook to have as a reference. Uh, if you're even an experienced manager, it's always good to refer back to that. Um, you know, kind of review the review the fundamentals. So hopefully you kind of like the textbook as much as I do as a good resource for what you need to know uh, as a manager kind of on day one. Um, last thing I want to touch on looking at my notes here, uh, late work. A few of you do have uh, some missing assignments. Remember that I do accept late work. You want to get every point you can. Uh, so you know, here's an opportunity for you to submit uh, that late work. I do take a deduction on points but it still helps you achieve that letter grade that you're looking for, whether it's a B or an A. You know, sometimes 20 points can make the difference between those two categories. So uh, you do have an opportunity to turn that in. That opportunity ends Sunday at midnight. Everything needs to be in for this course, whether it's late work or your current work for Module 7. Everything needs to be in by Sunday at midnight. For those of you that know, that you know, that have experienced been through here uh, for quite a while, that uh, the course will close uh, Sunday at midnight. So everything needs to be in. You won't even have the opportunity to submit uh, after that point. So get everything in Sunday by midnight and you'll be fine. 
on um, Monday, uh, I have to come in and calculate uh, your final grades. So whatever I haven't graded, um, I'll have to grade that morning because by noon, your final grades will be will be due. Later on that day, I would say Monday by 4 o'clock. I mean, actually, it's pretty instantaneous, but I, I'll give you a little buffer zone. I would I'd say by Monday... Um, right around 3, 4 o'clock, you can go into Empower and review your final grade for, for the class if you're curious. A lot of people just die to know what their final, final grade is. So give it, you know, a, a couple-hour buffer zone, um, but uh, it should be fully updated by, you know, the, the, the afternoon uh, in Empower with your, with your final course grade. All right, guys, that pretty much covers it. Um, if anything should be happening, if you have an unanticipated un- event or something happens over the weekend uh, that's impacting you finishing the course, let me know. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be fine. It's always a little you know, tight as we get here to the last few days, especially with a major assignment uh, being due. But so far, everything looks like it's uh, going great. So again, thank you so much for uh, being a great group of students uh, this summer. And I wish you the best of luck in, in your next class. Um, And everybody have a great rest of the weekend, a great rest of the summer. Thanks. Bye.